Greeting stars, let's go ahead and get into this reading. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and a prop prosperous week, all right? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. I do appreciate all of you for your viewership, all right? Um, we got patience and projection. Now, maybe I didn't do a really good shuffling because I feel like this may be picking up on the energy of a reading that I did a couple of days ago. Either show me what it is I need to see. All right, so I am picking up intuitively like this is about a negative result. OK, so I feel like somebody's in this energy of repeatedly doing something right. They're repeatedly doing something. Maybe this is you. Maybe this is someone in your environment. Remember that this may not uh, affect you directly. This could be in the energy surrounding you past, present or future. Right. So, yeah, I mean, um, different cards, obviously, but the same type of energy. OK, we're talking about a negative outcome to some form of projection, okay? And this is someone that repetitively does this. If this is you, then you need to shift your perspective. If this is not you, someone is about to attempt to do something again to a star seat with shooting star and confirmation. Now, some of you, you may have been at the casinos, uh, lottery, or whatever, um, and or you may have seen activity in the sky, okay? Um, I know where I'm at. They, it, it, was, um, it was on the news that there was some activity taking place in the sky. So I'm looking at the dice now. We got four and four. So we're definitely speaking about someone feeling outnumbered. This could be happening to you and to a soulmate, a higher level soulmate, um, like a romantic partnership and or a family member or a friend. Maybe this is a third party type of uh, energy that I'm picking up on. We're talking about freedom from a restraint or um, an outcome here. So there's signs. There are signs and synchronicities that are popping off surrounding some sort of illusion. Now, we are having or where I'm at, we are experiencing like really tumultuous weather, bipolar type of weather where it's really unpredictable. I feel like this is a transition. Clouds and mystical is telling me that somebody is coming out of some form of illusion. Again, the stars are sticking out in this reading. Okay, so it's kind of like a migration or a transformation is also what I'm getting. But I'm also hearing a storm. This has something to do with somebody's love life. Okay. So I don't feel, I, I really don't feel, who got four there, four there. Maybe I should keep this here. So I, I do feel like somebody is not sure of something. What's surrounding this reading is fortune. Okay. You may have been eating out some sort of um, exotic food, but I feel like somebody has questions, okay? Um, somebody's trying to present an illusion surrounding someone's fortune, surrounding a faded situation. We're definitely speaking about investments, things that you put your time, your money, your energy, your eyeballs into. I feel like somebody needs to think critically this could be a critical thinker, okay? Somebody may be easily distracted as well, or somebody's trying to distract you. But I feel like what's taking place in your environment is signs, okay? I'm also hearing telepathic communication, but this could have something to do with your ancestors, like the universe sending you signs to go in another direction, or I'm giving you like a warning before something happens. And if this is not you, this is somebody in this environment, in, um, your environment or whoever this is uh, environment the void of, of course talks about um leaving leaving a situation with unanswered questions a lot of false starts okay somebody having to move forward for some of you you are in a situation where things are looking up for you OK, you could actually be traveling from the sun to a place where it's really clouded or you may also be in a, a area where the um, weather is unpredictable. 
So we, we're definitely speaking about taking a chance. I don't know if somebody took a flight, but this is what I'm picking up as well. All right. So some of you, you may be coming off of a, of a vacation. Some of you, you may have gotten married or attended a marriage. I mean, attended a wedding or something like that. Okay, so somebody's uncertain about their place or about karma, how things are going to play out. Uh, this new beginning going forward. Yeah, because somebody's very observant and I feel like either you walked away from a situation that you didn't see uh, fortune in or somebody else is. Okay, um, this person may have left you or read or they didn't give you any type of answers with void, of course, moon and missing. Okay, somebody may have went MIA. You have to show me what, what I need to see. Some of you, you may be waiting for some sort of documentation. Void, of course. Why is this here? Somebody may have been checking financial statements. Okay, I don't know. I heard um, audit, auditing. And there's another. Um, I don't know why I always... That that always um, it's not an auditor, but it starts with the R. If I remember, I will definitely. It's like somebody that takes inventory or something like that. We're talking about traveling, um, gaining some sort of knowledge. Somebody may have felt restricted. We got Sagittarius energy here, Sagittarius energy there. I, I keep getting somebody left someone on, on red. You may have Sagittarius in the sixth house, Virgo, or something like that. But this is about maybe you traveling for work. I do feel like somebody travels a lot. We got a lot of ninth house um, energy. You could be a writer. You could be into philosophy, ph philosophy, philanthropy, humanitarian work. I don't know why her traveling chef. Why is uh, fortuitous here, fortuitous, fortuitous son? So something was realized. Somebody got centered. Somebody may be trying to figure out why you left a situation. Somebody may have to may have to leave a situation abruptly. Is also what I'm getting. There, there's definitely something that's taking place in the ethereal plane. Okay, in the dream state. Somebody's dreams are coming true, but there's some sort of illusion somebody's trying to present. And it has something to do with the weather for somebody. You could be a psychic. Somebody could somebody could be connecting to a psychic or somebody is under some sort of illusion, distortion. Um, some sort of spirit is also what I'm picking up. You may see a vision or somebody got a glimpse of the future with Aquarius being here in the moon. OK, they may be keeping something secret, possibly the fact that they they're leaving a the situation or going towards a new environment. This is somebody that's trusting their intuition. They're going towards something that they love or you are. This is also speaking about somebody's values. Why is uh, mystical here? Yeah, I feel like somebody... Whoever's at the bottom of the wheel in this situation is about to take a financial hit. It's going to affect their seventh house more than likely. Uh, we got Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus in the fourth house. There's some sort of illusion having to do with somebody's stability. This could be a contract, a marriage. This could be a celebrity also. Somebody may have been traveling. Somebody could be on tour. Somebody could have been trying to, to go to a healer, heal something. This could be a financial, a financial um, consultant for somebody. So we got nothing but stability on this side. And then we got feminine energy on this side. Whether if you are male or female. Somebody doesn't feel secure in their finances. This could be somebody that doesn't feel secure in a home environment as well. Somebody could be healing from some sort of addiction, illusion, confusion. 
having to do with people that they love. Somebody needs to get sent or something is shocking for someone. This could be your family uh, or family dynamic or a friend's group that underestimated your potential. Somebody wants to confront you. Somebody may be traveling to confront someone. Somebody could have gotten confronted. Somebody's uh, worried about the way they appear to others. Or you may be worried about the way you appear to others. Somebody may be becoming more aware of some sort of addictive pattern that someone has. This could be a group, a friend's group, um, colleagues or something like that. People are like trying to shy away from this person. With Uranus being here, somebody definitely is moving forward. Somebody feels like somebody made a lot of mistakes. We're talking about something unpredictable. So for some... Let's see. Um fifth house just fell on the floor so the fifth house is significant for somebody somebody took a risk when it came down to somebody's creativity somebody could also be having like a health issue is also what i'm getting they're needing to stay strong this person needs to focus on practicalities let's let's see one more for venus i feel like somebody um feels off Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for some of you that view this past, present, or future, something is coming to a, a complete end. But it's like, okay, maybe this person was trying to end something for you or you were trying to end something for someone else. And going forward, somebody's going to realize why somebody was incarcerated and trapped or felt trapped. This could be somebody's partner going to prison. Somebody needing to have faith. This is why someone feels an imbalance here. This has something to do with your finances with the 10th house. I still haven't seen the 7th house, but that Venus energy is giving me 7th house, okay? So somebody's dealing with a soulmate, a soul contract, a soul tie. You may have Gemini in the 10th house or somebody in this environment does. Gemini and Venus in the 8th house. So this is about debt. This is also about a separation, Somebody's trying to figure out what someone else's know what someone else knows. Somebody also may be trying to figure out someone else's finances. You could be a celebrity, or this is surrounding your career choice. This could also be an influencer, or somebody's under the influence. This is confusing. Com confusing. This is confusing. You may have Leo in the North Node. But this is giving me somebody had to get centered before they could move forward. You had to build up your finances here. Some of you, you may be, I don't know why I'm getting Whole Foods Market. I don't, somebody could be, okay. So this may have, your finances and your health had to be balanced. Someone wanted to keep someone in a toxic belief system about themselves, about the things that they hear, speak, eat. Somebody was under some sort of fog when it comes down to their health, their status, their career. And this has something to do with someone's family dynamic. Someone's family is trying to present some sort of illusion. This person is worried about what people think. Somebody could also be very nostalgic at this time. Let's see. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all. I feel like confusion is here. We're talking about somebody moving forward with good health. And that may be confusing to someone that is in this scenario. There's a lot of people that are coming out of an illusion, surrounding a partnership. The 12th house, this is the end of the road 
here. The crossroads. This is somebody's secrets coming out. And this is what someone wanted to avoid. It all stems from somebody getting centered. Why is that? Oh, that's quick. Six housewives out here, please. Okay. So, this has something to do with a marriage for somebody. Now, if you're not married, you're a third party. You could be a third party in a sense where this may be a family member, somebody that you work with, somebody that confides in you. Okay, but I feel like somebody didn't have all the information and they jumped into this Queen of Swords energy. This is where this person was supposed to be. This is where you were supposed to be for you to move forward. I'm hearing gain your footing. So you jumped into this Queen of Swords, whether if you are male or female, you wanted some sort of truth, possibly from somebody that you were partnered with. OK, if you know that somebody that you were dealing with is married, this is happening in their environment. Somebody was trying to stop somebody from moving forward. So I do feel like somebody got ghosted in the situation. Now, there something came to an end with I cool here. Somebody may have like a seasonal job is also what I'm getting. But I feel like there was a rebirth. You didn't know why someone walked away from a situation or why somebody kept something secret. You went through this healing phase uh, with your finance. Some of you, you may be in the restaurant business. Somebody doesn't know where someone is at, though, is also what I'm getting. Why is the sun card here? We got the water element, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have some more Capricorn energy. So somebody is controlling, obsessive. They have some sort of addiction. This person may be emotionally manipulative. The water element is giving me the queen of cups, right? This is someone that is in the upright. It would be someone that loves you. You love this person. Okay. This is your support system. This is somebody that will help you out when you need it. Now, this could be male or female, but with it on the fence like that, somebody was dealing with someone that was very smothering. Okay, they uh, have addictions, they're insecure. This is also somebody that's in lack. Okay, this could be poverty consciousness is, is what I'm also getting. Somebody's really regretful. But yeah, somebody stood their ground in this situation. And that's what I feel like. Somebody didn't expect you to heal or to, to gain something. This has something to do with a, a gift. You could be somebody that's into the to arts. You could be a teacher, a dreamer. You may have a, a, a vision, okay? But this is talking about an increase in someone's intuition. You may be hypersensitive at this time, like very agitated, um, like skin irritations or something like that, okay? So... It, this is about wish fulfillment. It's also about somebody's status. This is renewed hope. This is somebody's dreams coming true. And this is causing someone to be in this energy of regret. This person may be regretting a choice that they made. Somebody's spiritual practices are very dark. You're being seen as a leader. I feel like somebody doesn't like that. Yeah. Okay, somebody's addictive patterns, addictions is causing them to be in this nine of fire energy. The nine of fire, it talks about somebody that is um, stressed out, but not only that, um, they're going through some sort of test, some sort of tribulation. This is someone that you may need to have your boundaries set up against or somebody has the, their judgment is not good. This could this could be somebody that's actually traveling and getting motion sickness or uh, or something like that. Or maybe somebody drunk too much. This is being filmed on a Sunday. OK, smokes too much or something. Somebody is like physically ill. Yeah, 
is somebody needs to face some sort of addiction. Why is uh, the nine of fire? One more for the nine of fire. New beginning. For some of you, this is a situation where you moved away or somebody moved away from someone that was very toxic. This person became defensive because you wanted to end this partnership. This was somebody that was causing you uh, some form of instability. That instability, instability affected your sixth house, your health, your, um, your business, the things that you do on a daily, your work, okay? Your investments. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Somebody may have came to you and, and attempted to present some sort of illusion because you gained some footing, some status, some wealth. This person is in survival mode it is what I'm getting. For some of you, this is family member, family members. Somebody could actually be on the run. I don't know if somebody was in a fire. I'm also getting that as well. Why is uh, Virgo here? Somebody's lover is uh, not doing too well. They're sick. Okay. A cycle is complete. This, yo, there we go. There we go. Somebody may have been trying to burn evidence or there's something that's being transmuted here is I'm getting where there's smoke, there's fire, right? A cycle is definitely complete. This can have something to do with um, a marriage. Again, your support system, your ideal partner. This could be somebody, again, that wants to reunite, reunite with you, but they're having some financial difficulties, also bad health because of their ritualistic practices. Rather, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be bippity boppity boo, but it could be somebody that has like um, addictions. Whether if you know this person or not, for some of you, this could be your children. If they are adult children. This is speaking about working together. But with this world card being here, this is telling me that um, something is complete. It could be a family dynamic. Somebody is sick. They may not be telling you this. You have your boundaries up against this person. Somebody wants a new offer. Somebody got a new offer. Whether if it was a work or a partner. But this could be an, uh, an investment here. Somebody's trying to cover up something. Okay, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it's 50-50. Uh, a lot of you that view this past, present, or future, you're dealing with the same signs or people that are in the same uh, distorted type of energy. We're talking about a faded situation. Somebody needs to take accountability or responsibility. I'm also getting that somebody wants to confess something. Okay. This could be a third party um, speaking the truth to someone that may have been really defensive against you, especially if this is like a scenario where, okay, for instance, say you have a child with somebody or they have a child with somebody and this person blamed you, okay, um, yeah, for something ending here. This person may have even went on like... Um, they acted out in vengeful, venge, vengeance. This person is very vengeful. Somebody overcame some uh, abusive person, abusive nature. Addiction, greed. Somebody has like, um, they do things compulsively and that puts them in debt. Somebody's very fearful. This person may have tried to sacrifice you as well. If it's not an actual uh, bippity boppity um, boo type of thing, somebody tried to scapegoat you and make you the cause of the reason why something went wrong. This may have started affecting this person's stability with the fourth house. Why is this here? Fourth house.
Yeah. So somebody's immortal. Somebody's in a mortal energy. This is also an indication that th these are family members that were, were uh, real cold-blooded towards you. Now they're in this energy of nostalgia. Nostalgia. You also may be reminiscing about the way you were raised. Okay, some of you, again, I have to reiterate that you are a generational curse breaker. And it's very important for you to see um, my perspective in the sense that this is why you went through all this harshness. A cycle is complete. So it's okay to think about the past, but think about it in a sense where where you came from. Yeah, like, where, like literally like. I was here, now I'm in this position. And somebody is regretful because it's kind of like, I'm hearing true love. Maybe you didn't have a good example of love from your parents, from your siblings, maybe even from your children. That may have been like a generational curse thing. Something that you had to overcome. And this is causing somebody to be in this energy of regret. I don't know how this is going. Somebody sees you as strong-willed. You also have the protection from your ancestors. Do not repeat this cycle again. You may be getting stuck in something for 12 years or somebody is. Somebody could be going to prison for 12 years. Why is the 12th house here? Somebody could have Venus. I mean, Taurus or Libra in the 12th house. Okay. So yeah, this is definitely a storm brewing for somebody. And um, I feel like it's a group of people that are having to um, penny pinch, hold back. They may have held back from you. Is also when I'm getting these people are fearful of going to jail. They may also be holding something back from you. Could be this emperor that may be realizing. Somebody may be confronting someone that has a platform or somebody that is manipulative or they feel this person. Whatever they communicated was manipulative. Yeah. Having to do with a soulmate. Somebody could have said that you had bad health to keep someone from a new start. This person may have experienced a bout of bad health because somebody did not want you or whoever this is to get a new beginning. I I keep getting a footing. This is about investments. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like somebody was in a fire or... This is like a, a faded situation. If this is not an actual fire, but for somebody it is, something was transmuted. Like some negative energy is, because I'm seeing like a burst, like something bursted. It could, could be somebody's pipes with the fourth house. Like somebody's foundation, like a home is crumbling. I mean, that could be figuratively or literally somebody's home is falling apart. Somebody ha doesn't have the money to fix their foundation. We're definitely too, yeah. So somebody was competing for a new beginning. It's, it's like somebody competing for someone else's happiness. Maybe because they're holding on to something that belongs to you. Yeah, that's this is actually pretty good. But it, it's kind of like somebody, like you had a lot of people, or this person had a lot of people trying to block some someone's new beginning. I feel like if this is you and you know you have a divine counterpart, they're going through the same energy. Yeah. We, because this is like a, a, a healer. Somebody wanted to block somebody from healing something with you or healing something within. This is like somebody trying to push a negative outcome on someone that doesn't deserve it. And I feel like you may have experienced this your whole your whole life. Because we got to get out into the world. So this may have been taking place on the world wide web 
or this may be, I don't know why her telecom, I don't know, this is a text, some sort of information, something that have to do with the internet, most definitely, but rapid communication. Somebody was trying to end that. Somebody's also, they live um, lavish. Somebody may have confronted whoever this is about their lifestyle. Somebody was spending money that did not belong to them quickly because they, it's like they, they knew or they were fearful of something coming to the light here. Whatever they did and they took off definitely has something to do with somebody else's fortune, somebody else's wealth, legacy. That's why I feel like somebody got ghosted in this situation, but it ended up showing up in their home. And somebody is possibly literally sick. This person is covering up their bottom portion. So I don't I, I don't know if somebody I don't I don't know. I heard appendix, okay. Something could be happening with somebody's genitals is also what I'm getting. Like somebody I'm, I'm hearing incapacitated. What is this? Um why is the water element here? Somebody's been crying a lot. This person tried to like offer you up to a deity or something or sell their soul for fame. This could why is uh we got wholeness, powerlessness, accumulation, law, and follow your bliss. So you're stable in this scenario. Somebody felt like you would you would be unstable at an imbalance here because these are people that you love you may be finding out that was a part of some sort of betrayal i feel like you took a leap forward anyway somebody thinks you don't know that they are involved but as the seasons change and things come into alignment it's like i'm here inevitable somebody's going to realize something because it's like somebody's coming out of an illusion why is uh, mystical here on the fence, please? Yeah, look at that. Keep going. There's a cycle that is in the midst of being complete. And because the cycle is in the midst of being complete, somebody is, is going to run up into a faded situation. Because we got the Wheel of Fortune here. We got the 12 house. So something that was kept a secret held back from you. Having to do with your family, their family, somebody's mental health, somebody's stability. It may be even career is causing somebody to be in regret. This is secrets. Somebody's regretting not telling you something. Somebody is regret lying about something. Mystical. Receive. We got nothing but... Yeah, this is we, we're definitely speaking about season change, the four seasons, something. We know that a cycle is complete because the cycle of illusion, the cycle of deceit, lies. Somebody may be realizing why you had your bond boundaries up. This person may have tried to travel towards you, text you or something like that. But something was transmuted. Somebody wanted to come in with some form of illusion. This was a faded situation as well. If you have somebody recently reached out to you, this was this person's chance to speak a truth. But this is somebody that um, they're experiencing bad luck. OK, somebody felt like they can control something. This could also be somebody that oversees someone's uh, transactions, finances. I don't That's why I keep getting like a, a financial advisor. This has something to do. Somebody's sick because of the energy that they put out in the world. I'm here in reflection and you are the company you keep. With inner child here, somebody was was innocent in a situation. But I feel like a cycle was complete of someone 
feeling like they could manipulate you or feeling like you were naive. Um, or somebody trying to present an illusion, wanting you to be confused or other people to be confused about why you disassociated yourself from them. Somebody, I'm hearing strength in numbers. Somebody felt like the more people that they had working against you, it would block you. And with law being here, I feel like somebody did something deceptive for money or surrounding money. Okay, there could be arguments taking place. Yeah, look at that. We got ethics, discord, and anger. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Somebody lives in the past. Somebody thinks about something that they did in the past. They don't feel whole. They know that they took a risk that they shouldn't have took. Okay. You were possibly advised by, by your higher self to heal. Heal your inner child, but not only that, to keep moving forward, to travel away from someone, to complete a cycle, learn a lesson. I feel like you are coming out with something here. This could be a book. Somebody's hoping. Somebody's hoping that you hold on to something from the past. But this, I feel like this person does not really, you know, and I got to be honest, they really don't have love for you, even if this is a family member. Why is the 12th house here? So these are all people that are working against you are tempted to work against you that is in this energy of a storm now you may also be in like some form of natural disaster here but this could also be somebody that's dealing with alchemy because we got too many uh, indications of fire and water so this is and this is why like there's so much confusion here because somebody feels like they've done this possibly to you before or to multiple people and it's blocked them but the cycle of them doing this to you or maybe even your children has been blocked. Somebody didn't want your light to shine. And we got some more star activity here. I feel like when somebody did something deceitful, you may have seen like an omen or something. Like stars flash, orbs, flashes of light. This could be like gardens or something. Yeah, be open to what's behind the veil. Healing. Somebody may be getting locked up. Um, and they're getting like a second chance to heal something. This person feels restricted. They may have wanted you to feel restricted. We got grace, strength, anger. And ethics. So this. <clears throat> it's kind of like source was using you. Using these people to get you in an in a alignment. Okay. Possibly to follow some sort of goal. Yeah. I'm hearing something about a business statement or module. I got that before. I feel like a couple of months ago. So this is someone. Definitely, this is a third party energy that was trying to block your light or block you from growing. Some of you, this could be a relative. I mean, I keep getting that. I don't want to sound repetitive, but that's what it is. Somebody likes empathy, um, sympathy. They're not a good communicator, at least not when it comes down to you. This person feels guilty, and this is why they may be sick. They're having to hold on here. This could also be an emperor, a male that is holding back from family members because they realize something here. Surrounded somebody that's on a platform. Or somebody that's a public speaker. Maybe this person is. Um, I'm not really feeling it today, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. 
I'm not feeling it today. Um, but I know that it's important to get this message out. We don't really have any upside down cards, but I am interested to know um, some of these cards here. What ended? Somebody job. Somebody may have gotten fired abruptly. I could. I don't know, over text message, maybe over the internet. I could. Why is this here? Somebody didn't get a chance to go in the office is also what I'm picking up. They may have been on their way to work and something happened. We got a racist bigot, someone that's not healed. Past life karma downward spiral. Interesting enough, we got saved by grace in reverse and we got grace over there. Okay, so I'm hearing grace and mercy saved someone that could be significant. But this is someone that does not take, they didn't want to take accountability or responsibility for the reason why something ended. This is also someone that wanted you to miss out. They wanted a healer to miss out on our opportunity because they have like unresolved issues from a past life or their childhood. Somebody underestimated somebody's strength. Why is the law here? Tower. Tower. So this is something unexpected having to do with somebody's uh, legacy, their wealth, something that was left behind to you, something that somebody possibly tried to take from you. We got learning truth and honesty makes you the prize, lack of responsibility, not able to accept yourself, thinks they know it all and consider it. So they feel like they have power over you, male or female. This is somebody that. I'm, ha I'm hearing they have no business, but what if, this is somebody that lost some form of stability because this is my um, Empress card, but this is my CEO, like a business owner card. Um, if this person is not a business owner, they could hide behind a username or some sort of mask, um, pretending to be someone that they are not, okay? This could also be someone that was pretending to be you to gain some money. They felt like you were power powerless against this happening, maybe because somebody's official in this situation. Why is the devil here? We got some more Sagittarius energy, so there's definitely a Sagittarius involved. Somebody was very committed to whatever it is they did. They did something excessively. Okay, you have the Queen of, of uh, Swords wanted to come out. Face your fears. We got be present here, the present there. So if somebody uses substance as a form of escape. Um. Either somebody's not able to move forward or somebody was actually in an accident or observed one. Okay, this is this is someone that was trying to create something in your environment and it happened in their own environment. They may have lost a job or lost a connection to someone. That person that they had uh, a connection with may have realized something. It could have something to do with a child. Nine of Wands. Why is this here? 43.56 on the clock. We got alignment and future self. So somebody definitely, yeah, the outcome. So for some of you, you got, you got balance. You like you healed something uh, having to do with your inner child. But there is also a deal that was made behind somebody's back. For somebody to advance forward, that deal could have been made with somebody's family. We got structure is needed. There is an issue surrounding your beliefs, your church, political party, and or group. So that goes back to what I was saying. Like somebody was trusting somebody's word here. And, and that cycle is complete because somebody's realizing somebody lied. 
possibly because some information that came out. Somebody was very critical of someone else, and now they're in this energy of anxiety, depression, mental and physical health condition. Maybe this is something that this person wanted for you or tried to project with that tower. I do feel like somebody's being investigated in this situation. Inner child, why is this here? What I'm picking up, y'all. Okay, we got that. So for some of you, this is someone that's very childish in nature that's watching you receive abundance. This person's upset because something is complete. All right. You may be a psychic. Somebody may be an empath because we got to do onto others as you want did onto yourself. OK, we got Pisces here. So this is someone that was very opinionated. They had a lot of a, um, they like they like to critique other people's lifestyles here. Um, but they're very vain. OK, egotistical. And for some of you, this is a man that was doing this and or the, a man that this is happening to. But I feel like this is a third party, somebody that attempted to present some illusion or delusion surrounding why someone didn't get something or why somebody walked away. This person may have even went to your family members. They did something unethical. If somebody in this scenario could be somebody that's in law, um, was doing some form of an investigation here. And something changed or is going to going forward. Okay. Somebody did a lot to keep a spouse from knowing the truth. And or family members from knowing the truth. I feel like somebody was approached on some business type of deal. It's like somebody knew somebody needed money and they needed it quickly. So this is like somebody knowing who they could bribe or who they could get to do some sort of evil deed. And this is why we got the Wheel of Fortune here and the 12th house. Because this is this was a secret. Okay. You didn't know that this person was a hidden enemy. Somebody does not feel whole. They want to come in. Okay. They're hoping, yeah. they want they want to come in, but they're scared. And for some of you, this is a sibling. You were the black sheep in this scenario. You may have dealt with a lot of childhood trauma. This person may be aware of that childhood trauma. They may have even like, I don't know. This may have been like a reason why this person felt like you didn't deserve something. We got God bless the child who has his own argument over money. Right? So this could be... A family dynamic. Okay. Um, yeah, because we got family in reverse. Somebody felt disowned. They they want you to be in this energy of uh, self-fulfilling prophecy or um, always they want to hold you to a, your past. Things that you did in your past. Like this would be somebody that if you're doing good, they're going to always say, remember when you were in jail or remember when you were on this substance or something like that. This is somebody in somebody's family. We got law of relative truth. Define who you are before someone else does. And that's what happened. And for some of you, you like, I don't know, this could be your career. Something blowing up. If you're an entrepreneur, you may work out of your home. That's blowing up. And somebody's in regret because they didn't invest. And something changed rapidly here. And they were trying. Um, they were working against you. Yeah, we got similar dualism, similar aspects of the same thing. This is family. Or what? 
people say re um, relatives related by blood, marriage. It's all good in the hood. Fl somebody was used using someone's family to present some sort of illusion. I'm getting that whole scenario. I talked about this before where I said, and this is just an example. Um, growing up, I had cousins that would feel like it was okay for them to do people, like family members. That, like, I'll talk about you. It's okay for me to talk about you. It's okay for me to do this to you, but this other person can't do it. It's all toxic, right? It's kind of like when you have a favorite cousin and um, or will say your family member has a favorite relative and they talk about you and when you're all together, if you try to talk about this person or defend them, uh, defend yourselves, everybody gangs up against you like, it, you know, type of thing. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's making an excuse of why somebody doesn't deserve something or why something should be held back. But the truth of the matter is someone just doesn't like you. OK, they throw all type of reasons why you shouldn't get something. But I'm hearing clown suit, but these are all people that wear masks. They're all masks. And for some of you, this is exactly um, what they are, even if they appear to be religious. And I'm not saying all religious people are like that, but we got somebody walking away with the void, of course. OK, somebody walked away. Somebody moved on. They be, they withdraw. They withdrew. They traveled. They moved forward. They fixed their mental health, spiritual health. Something ended with. A racist, a bigot, people that weren't healed, this past life karma that was causing someone to do, to, to repeat bad behaviors, repeat um, ancestral um, karma. Like, if somebody didn't expect you to, to jump into this leader role where it was very fortunate for you, and you had people trying to place false narratives because this card here is my tower card. So you had people that were possibly using spellcraft. Now, for some of you, these people um, have some sort of gift. Okay. They didn't want something to change for, for you because this is someone or people that are used to putting their foot on you. And they did something deceitful with learning truth and honesty makes you the prize here. So it's kind of like, say if you have a platform, you have family members pretending to be someone else that will slander or, or put out false information or even troll you. For some of you, that's what's happening. Okay, um, before I get out of here. We got surrendered to prayer. So this person is trying to, so this is somebody that when you put them, when they feel like they put in a hot seat, they'll start talking about religion a lot. Or I'm going to pray for you. This is what the, I'll pray for you. They people ain't praying for you. They're not. We got surrendered to prayer. All these came out on the fence. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers uh, and support will arrive on offense. Surrender to inner peace, right? Cultivate inner peace on a daily pace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. Both of these came out on the fence. I already feel like if you completed a cycle, you already did this. All right. If you don't believe in faith, uh, uh, prayer, you have you have faith. You you learn something. You where you you where you are at. You're where you're supposed to be at this moment. All right. But for some of you, you feel like a discord and because you're thinking about these people. But I feel like you may be a person or whoever this is. You don't have good example of what what love. 
truly looks like. This could I'm, I'm picking up the energy of like of somebody that's an orphan. I'm not saying that you don't have parents, but this is the energy that I'm picking up. Like you, you everybody have parents, of course, right? But if this is not a, a situation where you grew up in a single home or maybe an orphanage or grandparents or something like that. This is someone that looks outwardly at other family dynamics and either you or this person compares their life to others. And you're going you're gonna to need strength to move forward. Okay? Because for... Yeah, for some of you, you're going into another test here and you're going to, but why? Why? Let's see. Why is strength here? Five, five, four, six on the clock. I don't want so many. One at a time. Strength. I feel like you are going through some sort of ascension. We got right now, it's like this. When we stop noticing, we can get stuck in painful patterns of reacting, shutting down, and worse. Notice what is present, thoughts, feelings, sights, sounds, and say to yourself, right now, it's like this. Describing your experience. Yeah. Okay. So th this is giving me half faith in the, in the future. Things don't always stay the same is what I'm getting. I do good. Yeah. Okay. So... Somebody wants you to act out in rage. They want you to do something unethical. And this is why I just feel like so compelled to whoever this is for, to keep your faith. Everybody in the world is not like this family dynamic. Somebody is not seeing the truth. Yeah, broken out, embrace the energy of peace. Somebody is not seeing the truth. Maybe they're not saying the truth about you, but I feel like, yeah, somebody's not saying the truth about you. And they may be trying to project like a negative fate. I feel like going forward, you may find out that it's closer to home and you're going to need strength. To get through this because somebody's unethical. They're very angry here because somebody has some sort of coverage. This could be somebody that has a, a I heard fear-based belief system, but like a religious person, and they feel like for some of you, they feel like because you don't follow their religion, tradition, or whatever, that you don't deserve something. Grace, why is this here? Turn off your autopilot. When anxiety, sadness, frustration, and anger show up in your life, what do you do with those experiences? How do you act? How can you turn off your auto? Yeah. Oh, man. So it's like you. Somebody uses work or whatever hobby that you have to move forward. It's kind of like you just. I don't want to say melancholy. It's kind of like you're floating through life. And I feel like you float to the point where you just you just getting by. And I feel like, you know, going forward, something is coming for you. And I just want you to be mindful. OK, that is a possibility that this may be showing up in your environment in the future. Possibly in May. Spring, summer, I've been picking up on that energy periodically on this channel, okay? So, we got, be curious about you. Values are the who, family, pets, self, friends, etc. And the what is nature, religion, creativity, independence, etc. That matter most to you. How are your values different from those of your family, your friends, and other people in your life? Yeah, you're completely different. And I said that earlier that this was about somebody's values. Okay, deuces.